Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One and my old barn door. And I have some journals to add to the booth for Miss Yolanda Carranza. She is So Crafty 100 on YouTube. And um, she makes the most unique, beautiful journals. I cannot wait to dig in and show y'all. So it looks like we have five journals here. And look at this gorgeousness. Oh my goodness. We're going to save this one for last. So I'm going to scoot him over here. And I think what I may do is pause and unwrap. And then that way it won't take us so long to get through the journal. So give me just one second. Okay, we have them unwrapped. And look how cute this is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the bling that she's added on the front cover. And it looks like this might be like wall, not wallpaper, wrapping paper that she's lined the cover with. And then she's got this cute little embellishment, beautiful lace on the spine. And then... Um, the wrapping paper on the back as well and she also has these cute little butterfly danglies coming out the bottom and then she's got it tied with this gorgeous pink lace so let me see if I can find my information sheet here the title of this one is called butterfly and it's eight by four and a half and it has 80 pages so it's like a um, single signature was made with cardstock papers, embellishments, stickers, and laces. The cover in the back was covered with a paper bag. Okay. This journal is fun and cute. Enjoy. Hug Yolanda. Awesome. Okay. So, and then let me see. I believe this is her card. Let me, I'm going to tuck this back in here for whoever gets the journal. Yes. Okay. So, this is her information, and I'll add it in the comment box or the description box below as well. But that's just so that you can... Get in touch with her if you'd like for her to make a journal for you. So she's put you some cute, cute, some of these really cute little 3D stickers in here. Looks like it's loaded with tons of butterflies, which we all love, or I love butterflies. Let me zoom in a little so you can see it a little better. Okay, so she's got this cute little floral tuck here, and she's got goodies tucked in. I'm not going to pull them out. Okay, I didn't know if that was a Rita flip or not. Oh, how cute is this? I love these. These are so adorable, the way they do these with the little specimen things. And one day I'm going to learn how to do those. So cute. And then this is, oh, what a cute little belly band. And then, oh, how cute is this? Oh, my goodness. How adorable is that? You have all kinds of different little bling and um butterflies and it's sticky backed so like you pull off the backing and it's like a sticker how stinking cute is that that's adorable yolanda okay so you have lined paper and then some of that paper bag i love that paper bag it's so pretty and she's got goodies in this pocket Ooh, look at this sparkly Very pretty little flower there on this vintage book page. Hopefully y'all can see okay. So this is kind of like a traveler's notebook size. I don't think it's like the exact specifications as a traveler's notebook. I think they're eight and a half inches long, but who cares, right? This flips open and you got goodies in there. Look, another one of those cute little butterfly specimens. That's the center of the signature, and that's where she's got the two little butterfly dangles coming out of. Super cute little journal, Yolanda. So this is like, um, oh, how cool is this? This is like little stickers, or is it stickers? Nope. It's little shapes. That's adorable. So you can take them off and use them throughout the journal, and then you have a little tag. Look at that. That's one of the little sticky things. So you can cut it up and use it. Great idea, Yolanda. Music paper, floral book page, lined paper. I love the color in pages. This is a large pocket here, and you have a couple of large size journaling cards tucked in there. And then look, she's made a pocket with one of the little specimen things. And then look at these pretty little circle 
punched out um, you can make tags out of them or whatever you want to make with them and this is like a little tip in okay and she's got you several pages here of lined paper for extra journaling space and then you have a large size pocket in the back with beautiful butterfly stickers and that's a really cool flash card I love the size of that flash card okay so this one is called butterflies and that's how you'll find it in the shop let me grab the next one oh this is very pretty I believe this is that craft X what a pretty cover can y'all see that okay oh I probably should zoom back out just a little sorry and then look she always has this most unique style of the way she does her collaging let me just untie the bow here so you can see it a little better love that lace she's tied it with but look at her collaging. Isn't it gorgeous? Just so pretty. I love the elements. She has all different kinds of elements and layers. Very, very pretty. Ah, this craft tech stuff feels so good. Okay, let me find my information card here. This one's titled Pretty Girl. So that's how you'll find it in the shop. It's eight by four and a half with 120 pages. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the information sheet inside the little pocket. Isn't that a sweet pocket and then you have a large size journaling card in there as well see how she just does like the extra little bits and pieces that just makes it so unique and she's it looks like she's got four page tabs here a little glassine bag here with goodies tucked in if I can get them in there floral book page oh this is a good matte floral book page um, good thick matte page mm, that coffee dyed paper feels yummy how pretty is that I always love the mixture of papers that Yolanda puts in her journals she just puts such a unique mix look at that cigarette card as a tuck she just puts such a unique mix of pages in her journals it always makes them so unique that's a cute playing card time began in a garden oh I love that another page tab and then this is a fabric flip with laces here at the top very pretty you have an altered paper clip there with a journal card love this vintage book page beauty begins from the moment Oh, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Oh, I love that. This is a flip open. And this one flips open. I've got a little bit bent. We'll fix that. There we go. You have the coloring page. Ooh, my daughter would love that. My little grandbaby, her bedroom is done in the little elephants. I have a couple of little ephemera pieces tucked in here and I love how she used the quarter roll the vintage quarter roll Lord knows nobody needs them now since nobody can find any coins what is up with that anyway I definitely don't want to get into the politics of it but I just think it's crazy okay there's the center of the signature and she's got the pretty little dangles at the, coming out the bottom of the journal That's a cool paper. She always just puts the neatest mix of pages and different things in her journals. Look how cute that flip is. And there's goodies in there. I'm not going to pull them out because I'll struggle with it because I'm a dork. <laughs> Ooh, look at that pretty collaged page. And then you have a couple, a, a little flash card and a little journaling card. I really like this page. Another little journaling card there under that altered paper clip. This is an envelope. I love these pages. And I love how she mixes them all together with the old vintage pages and the new pages. And a different variety. Look how sweet. Isn't that a sweet little image? different variety of pages mixed together here's the other side of the bag with goodies tucked down in there 
And then in the back, you have a large size collage pocket here with a couple of pieces for journaling. So this one is called, what did I say? Pretty Girl. So that's how you'll find this one in the shop. Let me grab the next one. Okay, this is another one with that beautiful craft X. It's just different colors. That just feels so cool. And again, you have that beautiful collaged cover with all the different goodies on there and the flowers. Got the page tabs, fumbly fingers. Okay, this one's titled Pretty Lady and it's eight by four and a half and it has 120 pages. I'm going to leave that tucked in there. You have a large journaling card tucked into this collaged pocket here. There's your fabric flip or fabric and lace flip. There's one page tab. Looks like she's got maybe a little gesso on that one. Or it might be, that may be just the way the coffee dyeing stained it. Oops. Well, I pulled this off the page. So you have an altered paper clip here with a couple of goodies tucked underneath vintage book page. This is a sewing pattern. I love all of these pages she puts in here. When you present this coupon, I'll stay for a few extra minutes after class and help you straighten up the classroom. <laughs> That's cute. Vintage receipt. Oh, good grief, Diane. <laughs> the struggle is real. I love, love this old music paper. Doily. Edith Holden page. Oh, how cute is that? I love that little paper. Oh, it's not a paper clip. It's a flip open. And it's got a little pocket with goodies in there. How cute is that? So stinking cute. You have a pocket there with, she's put you an extra little doily and a large size playing card that you can alter. You can make a pocket out of that. And then these are both, it's a pocket on both sides and she's got goodies tucked in. Whoops, and then you have the little dangles hanging from, oh, this is a locket, y'all. Super cute. Oh, that's a good thick size or a good thick matte page. That's cute with the dogs and the cats. Oh, and a bunny. I love the feel of all the different kinds of papers that she adds into her journals. This is a beautiful little tag that she's collaged. And it's tucked onto this envelope, and there's goodies in the envelope. I'm not going to take them out. Again, that sweet, sweet little image. So it looks like there's four page tabs in this one as well, and then a beautiful collaged pocket in the back with a couple of cards tucked in there for extra journaling. So this one's called Pretty Lady, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. Let me grab the next one. Oh, this one's big. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love her style. She has such a great, unique style. I love this pretty purple lace she's tied it with. And then look at the front. It's a vintage sewing pattern, probably like the envelope, or it may not be the envelope. It may be the, um, you know, like you have that beginning construction or instructions page. But I love all the different little sewing elements that she's added throughout the co cover. And then she has this gorgeous fabric on the spine. And then I look love the back as well and then look at this gorgeous big size ruffle she's added she's even got this little dangly down here at the bottom can you see that hopefully you can okay let's see this one is called fashions okay and it measures nine and a half by six and a half 
and it has it's one signature and it has 134 <clears throat> excuse me pages she says this is a chunky journal made with a manila envelope with a vintage sewing pattern okay so that's what this is it's the actual pattern with lots of pockets and writing spaces some flowers and vintage laces also some cute dangles enjoy okay i know whoever gets it will look at this cute collaged pocket isn't that adorable i love the way she does her collages and then she's made a little booklet out of um, an iron on mending fabric how cute is that the vintage packaging from that and then she's made you a little flip booklet booklet how adorable is that i love that again i do love her style okay let me zoom out just a little so you can see it a little better hopefully you can't see my big belly <laughs> oh this is so cute she's actually cut up a um the um uh, you know the little measuring tape that you use when you do your sewing and stuff and she's made little page tabs throughout the journal how cute is that oh i love that stamp very pretty she's got some washi and then oh this is going to be a wonderful little journal because she always puts such a variety of different pages in her journal i love that very pretty and again, she always does such a wonderful job mixing the old and the new. We've got a couple of journaling cards tucked into that doily tuck there at the top. Beautiful collage pocket with a goodie tucked in there. And then you have a large size tag tucked into that little pocket there. Can y'all see okay? This is neat always loved books like that. I never could draw. I always wanted to. I love this. I don't know if that's fabric or that um, old ribbon. Look at this. Look at this neat little belly band. I love that so much. I need some of these. <laughs> I always break mine and then I, I usually only just buy one. I need to just buy like a pack of them or something if you can find. Can you find packs of them? Oh, I recognize this. <laughs> I made these a while back, and I think I had them in kits or something. Super cute. Oh, look at this big, gorgeous collage tag. Isn't that pretty? I love the big tags. I don't know why, but I just love them so much. There's a beautiful little fabric flip. Looks familiar. And I love this vintage grid paper. And then you have an envelope pocket with goodies in it. Oh, I love that. So cool. And then she, this is a sack pocket. And she's got this beautiful paper, paper clipped piece here. And let me see. There's goodies in here. Oh, oh, y'all. Looky here. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful laces that she has spoiled you with. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. I have a couple of journaling cards there. Cherry Woods. That's cute. I love all her stamping and her little pockets that she makes some of the cutest little pockets. And I think I'm going to get ready and start doing some um, some videos on making some pockets and things, like mass making pockets to have them ready for your journals. Um, but going back to the basics and using, you know, just your vintage book pages and things like that. So I'm thinking about doing a series on that. If that's something that y'all would be interested in, let me know in the comments and I can start working on that. I'm still trying to finish up my series on... Um, the collage boards um, but those should be coming to an end soon so we'll have to have a new series cute little collage tag tucked in there I love and this is an envelope um, and there's goodies in there but I'm not showing you you have to get the journal to find out <laughs> super super cute journal look how cute this is y'all she made a little pocket on her tag and then she put you some of the vintage snap card in there how adorable is that
I love these pages. That feels so good. Look at this sweet collage. And then you have that beautiful collage tag there. Oh, look at the big size tag. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how she did that. That's awesome. And then it's a fabric tag or like a snippet, like a little snippet. And it's just paper clipped in there so you can use it anywhere in your journal you want to. See, here's one of the, um, the like this is four pockets. I made this one and it was probably in that kit that she got from me. And um, you can use that anywhere in the journal you want to. Thanks Yolanda for sharing. And I love seeing how people use the things that they get from me. I love seeing how they use them in journals. It's very intriguing. And then this is a pocket on the back cover and she's put you, oh yay, get one of those Sears pages. I love these. I love these so much. I think this was like a, like a reprint from one of the Sears catalogs or something. And then you have a couple pages here from the old sewing, sewing book. Very pretty. So this one is called, let me make sure I didn't bend a page there. This one is called Fashions and that's how you'll find it in the shop. And let me grab the last one real quick. How are we on our time? Oh, we're not doing too bad. Okay, so let's see what this gorgeous beauty is all about. Look at the way she did this. And I don't know if I have it upside down. Maybe it opens this way, we'll see. But how pretty is that? Look at the way she stitched this eyelet lace and made it like a little bag. How adorable is this? I'm in love with it. All right, let me see if I can figure out how we unwind. There we go. So it opens up this way. Just this bag is just gorgeous. She's added so many elements on. These are really cool. They're like metal butterflies. Can you see those? So stinking cute. Okay, let me see. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it does open this way. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how pretty. And she always makes the prettiest little dangles on her journals. How gorgeous is that? A little tassel coming down. So it looks like it's two signatures. She's got this beautiful flowers, the gorgeous bird on the cover, and she's tied it with this pretty pink organza ribbon. She's blinged it all the way around. And let's see what the back looks like. Oh, how pretty is the back? The back is just as pretty as the front. Just gorgeous. And y'all, look at this. Look at all that frilly, fluffy, beautiful lace coming out of there. Isn't that gorgeous? Actually, I think it's tulle. But it's ruffles. Look how pretty that is. I love that, Yolanda. Okay, here's our information sheet. This one's titled Birds and Butterflies. It's eight and a half by five and a half uh, with 254 pages. Oh, goodness. This one's got a lot. It's fabric covered, chipboard, trims, laces, flowers, some coffee dyed paper, some knot, uh, vintage papers, etc. So this one's called Birds and Butterflies. There's her card. And then in this front pocket, which I love, how pretty is that with the collaging? I'm just so into the collaging lately. Beautiful little cards and tags tucked into there. And then we'll put this back in there. That's her thank you card with her information on it. Oh, that feels really good. That's a yummy book page right there cute little hummingbird card and then look at that is it an envelope oh yeah okay I think it's here let me just take it off because I think it's um, connected to two pages look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous such a pretty envelope I love that okay let me see so this goes back there we go and she's got the little um, altered paper clip that holds that in and then again, you get to see all this beautiful variety of pages that she uses in her journals. This is a fold open extra journaling spot. And there's that cute little bag. Those little bags are so cute. Okay, so this is a tuck here. And I love how she's made a pocket out of 
A playing card. Great idea, Yolanda. Thank you for that idea. I'm I'm scrap lifting that. <laughs> a little booklet. Look at these cute little bird cards. How adorable are those? And then you have a coffee dyed index card. Uh oh. I might should have not took that out. There we go. I'm such a dork. <laughs> Look how pretty. Love that. This is so neat the way she does these little flip outs. And then you have such a wonderful variety of pages. Isn't that pretty? I like the markings on that. Oh, this is neat. How cool is that? You can color it. Pretty little journaling card. And then these are little bird cards. So there's three of those. How pretty is that? Her little collaging on her pages. Oh. What a cute. I love that page. And this is a pocket here. And she's tucked in some music paper for you. Oh, I love these children's book pages. See, this is what I'm talking about. I love the way she made a tuck out of that envelope flap. Very pretty envelope flap, too. And look at that beautiful butterfly. And there's the center of the signature. She's added some pretty little flowers to the center there. Gorgeous butterfly. And this is, a, this is that beautiful envelope that I saw. And then she's made a pocket at the top with a beautiful tag. Look at her collaging. Love these old vintage pages, coffee dyed pages. These are Kool-Aid dyed pages, I think, or either Easter egg. I think it's Kool-Aid, but I could be completely wrong. Very pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I love that lined paper. And you have a journal card there. Okay, Bumble Fingers. Again, some of that really pretty, I don't know if that's, I think it's ribbon, honestly. I love how she used um, a card and then she put, <laughs> I love this. She shared some of this with me and I, I'm hoarding it right now, but I'll eventually use it. But I'm still hoarding it. <laughs> Aren't we bad about that? <laughs> That's a good thick book page. She just tucked you in some owl stickers. I love the way she made her little pocket there. Some goodies tucked into that bag. A tisket, a tasket. Oh, and look, you have a pin in the center. How cool is that? I love the way she's put the pin holder in there. Very nice. It's a great idea, Yolanda. I love this paper. It feels so cool. I have a couple of journaling cards in there, and I love the old crossword puzzle pages. These pages feel yummy. They're so crinkly. Look at that pretty collaged page. We have goodies in that bag. Some more of that. I'm in love with this. <laughs> paper ruffle, which I love the paper ruffles. I haven't done those in a while. Thanks for the reminder, Yolanda. See, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all inspire me. I love this page. And show me all these cool things to do. And, and then I forget about them. <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, I love the way she's collaged on there. And there's goodies down in there. Oh, you get one of those specimens. Look how pretty that one is. That's pretty paper. I think I have a card just like this. I, I'm hoarding it, too. <laughs> I'll eventually stop hoarding stuff. Maybe when I move my craft room, because I haven't got to move it yet. My son came home this weekend, and he was like, I'm moving. 
I'm moving my stuff this weekend, and then he had to leave again on Sunday. Well, he didn't finish getting everything, and so here I am thinking, ooh, yay. You know, I'm really, really going to miss him, but I'm really, really going to love having a craft room with, you know, room to move in. And so I was thinking I was going to get to move my craft room on Sunday. Well, that didn't happen. So he says he'll be back on Wednesday. So we shall see. So I will do some videos on uh, the new craft room and getting it organized and things like that. So, but yeah. Um, it'll just give me room to hoard more things, right? <laughs> So we shall see. I'm excited about it though. Rufus sided tohi. That's cool. Oh, she's made you, she's given you several of these little uh, lined pages. That's pretty. I love that. I love how she's scattered the butterflies throughout the journal. That's a pocket there. That's the coolest paper ever. <laughs> and then in the back, you have a beautiful collaged pocket. And she has put... Oh, what a sweet little doily. I've never seen any this small or shaped like that. That's very pretty. And then you have a little journaling card. Okay, so this one is called Birds and Butterflies, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. If you have any comments or questions for me or Yolanda, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will, and I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs!